Hi there, Roger Brooks here. And as you probably know, I have had a long time love affair with small communities, the things they do to turn these communities into outstanding destinations. Today, I wanna to share one of those stories in a great little place right here in the Alberta Prairie. Welcome to Rosebud. Rosebud is located about an hour and a quarter drive from Calgary in a place known as the Canadian Badlands. Beautiful, beautiful landscapes and terrain differences when you come out into this area of southern Alberta. This little town was settled in 1885 and was founded on coal mining and some farming. And when you drive into town, you will see the fire station that still fits the rural country atmosphere you're gonna find in this area. When you come right into town, you'll see their Centennial Museum, which shows a lot of the agriculture, mining, and ranching history of the area. Across the street, there's the Rosebud County Goods and Company that sells a lot of home accents, toiletries, and gifts. It's a great little shop. And then across the street is Backstage Gifts and the Rose Hips Gifts, which are two amazing galleries, chock full of artisan wares and clothing and purses and leather and wall art, jewelry, you name it, that is all crafted in Canada, particularly in Western Canada and Alberta. Across the street, a local took this little garage and turned it into another amazing place called the Kith and Kin Artisan Wares. It's got all kinds of more home accents and local art. Just an amazing little place to browse and shop. Down the road, just a little bit, a few homes down the road, is another gallery. And in this gallery, it's got some amazing fine art, all originals, and they'll have students come and play the a grand piano that's located inside the gallery. Next door is a gentleman who does some amazing trains, model trains. I love this, his entire front yard is a model train that actually is operating. He's got a couple of them going. And during the peak season, he's actually selling train sets and everything you need to get going. There's also the Thorny Rose Cafe, a great little eatery where you can get a great lunch. They have live musical entertainment um, many of the weekends, and, and it's a great place just to pop in and get something to drink. And then next door is a great little stage where they have all kinds of performances where you can actually come and show your stuff and get your 15 minutes of fame every year during one of their festivals. You can grab lunch at the Mercantile or at one of the little restaurants and actually take it across the street here where we've got a covered picnic shelter. How great is this? It's just a beautiful little peaceful town. Now my favorite place to stay is the Rosebud Country Inn, which is which is home to beautifully appointed rooms. It's very, very nice. There's a lot of art for sale and it's got a fantastic breakfast. And just hanging out on the back deck in this peaceful atmosphere is just really good for the soul. But you know, as great as all of those things are, and there are more than that, what really put Rosebud on the map was a long time ago, it became a retreat for about 40 or so teenagers who would come out during summer for summer camp with a focus on performing arts. In 1977, it became the Rosebud School of the Arts, and in 1983, it became a post-secondary art school. It has morphed from that to this, the Rosebud Center of the Arts, it's just an amazing opportunity for about 25 to 30 kids who come out there for several years and they're, they're tutored and mentored in the visual arts, the performing arts, and even in music. They're very, very talented. They come out there to learn professional theater training in a little place called Rosebud. The students tend to stay in basements of local homes. I mean, it's just amazing what they've done. 
And then they have professional theater at the Rosebud Opera House, which seats about 220 patrons. And the performances they produce there are amazing. We just had the opportunity of seeing The Kite, a W.O. Mitchell play that was hilarious, engaging, and absolutely a fun time. I wanted to show you the 2019 offerings at the Rosebud Opera House. Check it out. feeling this show is going to be a good one. You say that every year. I do? I thought you did. Are we there yet? Yeah. We're here. And here's how it works. If you buy your tickets in advance, you can get a meal, a buffet meal here at the Mercantile and then go to the play. Or if you like, you can just go there and have dinner on your own or in the Mercantile. This is the entrance right there. But if you did buy your tickets in advance, you just go right here to the box office and the, and the restaurant is right down that little hall to the right and they will seat you and they'll bring you drinks and everything. And then there's a fantastic buffet that's got every kind of course you could imagine including some incredible desserts and while you're eating you will enjoy live music by some of the students that actually are there in theater and in the music and it is just an amazing experience and then when you go over to the opera house this is professional theater the sets are amazing this is the set to on golden pond and they run about 141 days a year from April through December, nearly 200 performances. Plus, they do backstage tours, and you can even do artistic director talkbacks after some of the performances. Here's one of the plays, Rosebud Colored Glasses. 
You know, in November alone, they have performances every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 30 in November alone. And then when you're done, you head over to your B&B, or in our case, a Rosebud Country Inn. It's just a treat like you can imagine. But you know what's really amazing about this small town? Even when it comes to fundraising, they do a pretty incredible job. Their latest fundraising campaign they create a little video for. It's called The Harvest. Let's take a look. The harvest is in, and it's a bumper crop. A bumper crop? You bet it is. The harvest. The harvest. What's the harvest? The harvest? Good question. Harvest was our fundraising campaign. Raised over $800,000. The, the harvest. harvest. The harvest is. It's a metaphor that we created, mm -hmm. where we compared Rosebud School of the Arts to fertile soil. Yes, and we compared a student to a seed. And your donations were the sunshine and rain that helped everything grow and produce. The harvest? Exactly. But I think what you're really asking is what is the harvest to Rosebud? Okay. To me, the harvest is 30,000 meals served. Assisting 30 students by subsidizing close to $5,000 of their tuition. Produce seven plays for 35,000 people. Subsidizing 5,500 tickets to our senior patrons. 18 actors in the middle of rural Alberta. Maintain a resident company who act, mentor, and teach students. Purchased a new hearing assist system. Thank you, Angels of Rosebud and Guardians of Education, for your outrageous support of the Harvest Campaign. And perhaps one of the most amazing things in this little town of Rosebud is the fact that the population of Rosebud is only 88. I love this sign. So many people come to the middle of nowhere that it becomes somewhere. And this is why Rosebud has become one of my favorite, favorite all-time places. I hope you enjoyed that look at Little Rosebud. It is an amazing story of how one or two or just a few people with some patience, some passion, some persistence, and a little bit of pain along the way can turn a great little town into an outstanding destination. Thank you for watching.